welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill. There's Diesel, if you can see him. And we're in the Bronco Big Ben today. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover these up because when you sit on a really bright day, it's a little bit overcast, as you can kind of see in there. But on bright days, when Sean drives, the light from the hood will actually reflect off of here and into his eyes. And why Ford made these glossy, I have no clue. So, we have a solution. It's very easy. And it's from Sticker Fab. And what we're going to do is put these on these to just map these out. That way, when the sun hits the hood, and hits this, it's not gonna blind him because he's been complaining about that since we got this thing. And we also have one over here that we're gonna do. Now, um, Sticker Fab was really nice to send us two copies of these and two additionals because they just know you're gonna screw up. <laughs> So they thought I had for you. So yeah, we have two sets. They're really cheap. They're probably like under ten dollars. I'll link it down below. And they obviously put some forethought into it to give you extra stickers just in case you should screw one up. You know what I mean? So that was really good on their part. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you up on this little thing here. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now I got this extended out and off the thing. These things are very, very thin, very, very sticky. Okay, so there's the first one. Now I'm a car manufacturers when they do airbag stickers like these it's usually a matte finish anyway um i don't have any issues with it in my bronco sport but for some reason the big broncos or at least especially this one for us because it's the only bronco that we have right now until we get the other two but especially for this one um i don't know why ford went with a glossy finish on this that was a really bad decision and design on their part so we're just going to go ahead and map these out and for this one, I'm gonna go get a squeegee just because it is a larger surface area, as you can see. Um, it does black out all of the font, so you will not be able to read anything, which is fine. There's airbag information in your owner's manual. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, so I got a squeegee. It has a plastic edge here and it has a very soft cloth as well. So when you go across everything, it doesn't rip, it doesn't catch, it doesn't tear it. So we're going to give this one a whirl and see how it does. Um, apologies for any background noise that you do hear. There are some electrical workers and neighbors and the mailman. And it just seems like my entire neighborhood is out of course today. <laughs> So apologies for the background noise. So it looks like this has a static cling to it. Tint cars and windows for a living. Won't well, have any issues doing this, but I'm not a professional wrapper or tinter for that matter. I'm just going to take my time with it, that's all. So, 
there's one sheet. It's all blacked out. Hopefully that will help him. We're gonna go ahead and jump over here to the other side. We all can see. Oh yeah. We're gonna do this one on here. So it's not the easiest thing to do on a, a movable surface. Okay. So we're gonna start on this one. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do. It is kind of floppy. So um. We'll just have to just take our time with this as we did with the other one. Um, Going to go right over that. Just how many construction workers do you need to do electrical work? We're going to go ahead and put this one on here. As you can see, I tried to take it off and put it back on. Just because I have like zero nails. So it's very clingy and it's very, very sticky. Has a, a lot of static electricity to it. So it's not going to be the easiest thing to work with. How I want to say this these are products that I would like to call um, or categorize as. The more that you use it, the better you're going to get. So if you only do this like once or twice, and you really don't need to do it again, then that's okay. But since we're going to have multiple vehicles, I'm going to be very skilled at doing this. <laughs> so your first one is always going to look horrible because that's your learning one. So what you learn off of that, you're going to transpose it onto this. So as you can see, I mean, it turned out pretty good. I didn't really have to do any kind of... smoothing out or anything. Now I know there's still bubbles in it, but as the heat from the sun gets up there, I'm pretty sure it'll flatten out. Use a cross side and put a little bit more pressure on it. It's all really how, you know, your preference and everything. I'm really honestly not that picky but I want to see if I can just at least get some of these bigger ones out and I probably should have just left this thing alone because that yeah, looks really bad yeah, whatever it does stretch a little bit so and there you have it. You can see the outline of your original one. It's a lot better than what it was. I'm not too worried about the little air pockets right now. Um, the sun, as it gets hotter, because we're in a cool part of the month, um, as it gets hotter, they should be able to flatten out. But that's it. Okay, so as you guys can see, right here, is where it was and same thing oops sorry about the sun you guys i can't really help it right here hang on you can see the two right there i gotta do it this way just to try and keep the sun out of your guys's eyes because look if we all you guys would just be seeing. So there you go. I think this will help my husband a lot when it comes to driving this vehicle in the future. To not have the label reflect that light off the hood back into his eyes. Okay, so that um, concludes this video. Uh, hope you like it for being my first solo one on 151 Garage. 
we will go ahead and link these down below and just be mindful when you do use a squeegee of any sort whether it be the cloth with the hard plastic at the end of it just take your time with it because you don't want to just rush through it and risk you know ripping the stickers even though they gave you extra but just just you know just take your time like i said the first one is going to be like your learning experience one your second one is going to be a lot easier so now we have a set for the badland when it gets here because i'm pretty sure those things are going to come with glossy airbag stickers way to go ford please like subscribe hit the notification bell we do upload videos every monday wednesday and friday at 5 30 eastern standard time in the afternoon also, you can direct uh, message us on Instagram at 151garage if you want to go ahead and check out our website at www.151garage.com. That will also be linked down below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns or whatever, just drop us a line at either the YouTube comments, the Instagram, or the, uh, the, the website. And... Uh, you can go ahead and just contact us through there. We do read everything. Um, it might take us a little bit to get back with you, depending on the message loads, but we'll get back with you. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!